Batch renaming a folder full of files that have dual extensions in Windows. So we had a comment from a previous video where we walked through this originally, and we're going to link that video in the top right of this video if you want to check out that video as well. On that video, someone had a comment, um, what happens if they have a folder full of files that have dual extensions? How do they rename those files? So today we're going to walk through that real quick. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up command prompt. With this tip from Sa Priyanshu, we're just going to open command prompt right from the folder that we're working in. That's going to save us quite a few steps. We have this folder open called ride. It's a subfolder within folder test2 on drive E. Come up to the breadcrumb style navigation menu up here. Highlight that. It's going to turn into your traditional folder path location. Type over that folder path location with the letters CMD. Press enter. That's going to open command prompt. And that's going to tell command prompt that we're going to be working within this folder. Within that folder, we want to rename all those files. We're just going to rename them to remove each extension one at a time, starting with the very last extension. We have a folder full of files with the extension .mp4.pdf. These are actually mp4 files, so they're not going to open properly with the PDF file extension. Let's strip all the file extensions, start clean, so that we're left with just the raw file names, and then we can reappend a new file extension on all of those files. After we open command prompt to work, to work within, within that, that folder, folder, we're going to type ren space asterisk dot pdf space asterisk dot. And basically, that's going to tell the system everything with a dot pdf extension, remove that, and replace it with nothing. Press enter. It just changed all of those files and removed the very last extension, in this case, the PDF extension. Now we're left with the file names and the .mp4 extension. The commenters question, they wanted to know how to remove both extensions. To remove the next extension, we're just going to do the same thing. We type ren space asterisk dot mp4 space asterisk dot. And again, that's going to tell the system, remove that last extension, replace it with nothing. Enter. Boom. Boom. It just renamed all of those files to contain no file extension. We're just left with the raw file names. Now, Windows has no way to know what program to associate these files with, so we're going to reattach the appropriate file extension to all of those files. Doing the rename command we're again. We're going to type ren space asterisk dot nothing this time because that's the parameter that selects the files that we want to target that we want to target tar tar target space asterisk dot mp4 because the second parameter applies the extension to the files that we targeted in the first parameter so again that's ren space asterisk dot space asterisk dot mp4 for our scenario here so that's going to tell the system, rename every file in that folder that has no file extension to .mp4. File extensions that we want to target, tar tar target, We're going to append the .mp4 extension to every one of those files. We hit enter. Boom. There we go. Hopefully this helps Ben's Harvey. A big shout out to Sa Priyanshu for the tip about opening command prompt from within the folder that we're currently working in. Hopefully this helps on your system as well. Don't let these extensions that we're utilizing here fool you into thinking, oh, I can't use this for my files. Yeah, he's using that for MP4 files or PDF files. These are just the file extensions that we have in this scenario for this example. You could apply this to any file extensions that are appended to the end of your files as well. We're just choosing two random file extensions to show how to remove and strip all of those file extensions from the file names so that we can then rename all of those files with our own file extension, all at the same time. 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 M, P, 4, P, E, E.
whatever file extension you're working with, that's the extension you would utilize. So don't let this pigeonhole you into thinking, I can't possibly use this for my files. Yes, you can. Yes, you can.